All right, we added our levels, which created these two floor plans, A5 and A6. But now we want to create a <coughs> schematic floor plan. So basically the way these are set up is if I go to plan A1, it's got all the scope boxes and it's uncropped basically. Like there's a crop, um, there's no cropping going on. You can see the scope boxes, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, and all of the levels are on, all of the section and elevation stuff is on, and it's set to eighth of an inch. If I go to plan one schematic, it's set to 32nd of an inch, and all of those other things are turned off using the visibility options that Revit gives you. So you can have the views of the model, which is the same model, set up differently, and we want to do that for these two. So if I double click on A5, it's set to eighth of an inch and all this stuff is on, but I want an A5 schematic. So I'm going to right click on it and we can duplicate that view. So I'm going to duplicate it. It's going to create a copy. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to rename it to schematic. Oops, except I'm going to spell it, try to spell it correctly. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to look at the scope boxing and what the scope boxing is doing. So the scope boxes are these little green guys and if I look in 3D you see that they're three-dimensional. What they're doing is they're creating a crop region that we can associate plans and elevations and sections to adjust their view range to cut at them which is very convenient. If I go to plan A1 and I come down to the bottom down here, there's a crop view and a show crop region. If I click on show crop region, there's the crop region right there. And if I pick it, I can move it wherever I want it to crop that view. So I can make it smaller or bigger. Um, so if I were to move it in the middle of, let's see if I can get the blue dot. If I move it in the middle, and then I tell it to crop down here. So I tell it to crop view. It'll crop that. If I uncrop it, it'll just show me the crop box because it's turned on down here, but it won't crop it. So there's quite a bit of wiggle room in, in manually adjusting these. You can you could possibly see how difficult it would be. But what we can do is we can actually associate it with this scope box. So if I'm in plan A1 right here, I can come over to my properties over here in my view and there is a scope box and if I click that scope box to scope box A suddenly it crops immediately all the way down to that scope box which you can use for elevations as well so for example if I go to my south elevation right I can go and right now this is in is set to the larger scope box, but if I set it to the smaller one, it'll crop it way down to that smaller one. So there's an overall scope box, which if I go back to my 3D view, is this larger one, and then there's a smaller one for just the plan. Now, what we want to do is for our A5 schematic, is we want to associate it with this scope box, but you might notice a couple of things. One is that this scope box is actually cutting through the plan. And you'll see that is happening on the composition sheet, that it's actually clipping off that front piece. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and associate this view to the scope box, and then we'll adjust it. So I'm going to come in, and I'm going to come down to here, and I'm going to go to scope box. I'm going to pick scope box A. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this view, this schematic view 5, onto the composition sheet. right? So I want to change it to 32nd of an inch. And the section markers disappear because they are not displayed once you get below the original scale. So it was at eighth of an inch, it went to 32nd of an inch, so those section markers are cued not to display at that size. So I'm going to go to my composition sheet and I'm going to come up and I'm going to left click on A5 schematic and drag it, left click and drag it into this sheet and you're going to see 
that it really wants to line up. You see those blue alignment lines and it will line up. Now we do have this view title that we don't like so I'm going to pick it. I'm going to go to the pull down and I'm going to go to viewport gray number only very similar to what we did with the levels. And now I have that placed. Now the crop box is still showing. We could turn that off and then the scope box is still clipping all of that. So to turn off that crop box I'm going to double click. So I double clicked inside that view which gives me access to the view and I can hide the crop region. And then I can double click outside of it and it'll bring it back. Now I'm going to close my hidden windows and I'm going to go to my plan A1 and I'm going to uncrop this view so I'm going to go to my scope box and say none and then I'm going to turn off my crop and you can now see that that scope box is available to me to pick. I'm going to turn my crop box crop region back on and I'm just going to pull it larger. I'm just going to make it a larger crop box so I can see everything. All right, so I'm just going to make that guy go all the way out there. Now what I want to do is I'm going to window tile, so WT, so you can see this happen, and then ZA, and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit on these guys, and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this guy. And I'm going to pick that crop box, that scope box, and I'm going to pull it. So I'm going to pull it out past the object. And you'll see all four of those update because all of those views have been associated with this scope box. We can do the same thing, come over here, the elevation is being cropped, right, in a strange way. So let's go look at that elevation and make sure that it's working. So if I double click on this elevation, I think I'm not sure which elevation this is, let's check. I'm going to pick it and that is E schematic A. So it doesn't really matter which elevation I go into because the crop box is uniform at the top. So I'm going to go into my south elevation and I'll pull this over here so you can see both of these. And I will come in and I will pick the scope box and I will pull it up. Right? And once I do that you'll see that that actually adjusts itself there. Now that roof plan that got disassociated now that the scope box is above it I can actually go reassociate it. So if I go to roof A there it is. I can scroll down and now you can see that it's reassociating with the scope box A because I pushed it all the way back up there. Right so it's got the scope box back on it. You could always come in and say none and then reassociate the scope box. Right. Okay. So that is the scope box. Um, hopefully you'll be able to use those effectively. Um, if you ever work without them, then you'll notice how difficult it is to get everything to sort of be uniformly cropped in the same way.